Okay, hi everyone. This is Nasreen. So today we are going to do the experiment notches and veers. So this is my batch. Uh, they are all doing the experiment notches and veers in Geetanjali Institute of Science and Technology. Okay. So here, uh, what is our aim? The aim is we have to find the uh, coefficient of discharge for V notch and beer. Here you can see this is the V notch and this one is the beer. Beer is nothing but a wall, obstructed wall of 1 to 5 meters which we are constructing in real structure. So coming to the apparatus. So apparatus, this one is the some tank you can see. At the bottom, this one is the sump tank which stores the water generally and this one is the inlet pipe from which the water is taking out to the upwards to this tank. This tank is the supply tank and to this supply tank we have the uh, fixers that is vernier scale. Vernier scale. After passing the water from this supply tank, it flows through the V notch, through the V notch, which is connected by a rubber stop, by a uh, rubber stop. This one is the rubber stop. So and and it is flowing. That is the water sheet, and this water sheet uh, gets into contact with this beer and gets stored in this storage tank okay so first of all we have to start the motor we have to start the motor uh, which is running at single phase 220 volts and the water gets into this inlet pipe and passes through this point so this valve is the gate valve if once we open this valve the water gets into the supply tank Okay, so in that you, have, you must have seen the rocks. That rocks are placed there as an apron to level uh, to maintain the head level. Means, for example, there is, if there is a no stones provided there, then the water to reach the constant head level it may take a half an hour approximately. So um, uh, instead of waiting that much time, we have to provide this apron so that we don't have to wait that much time. The water level gets into contact. Uh, very fast so next uh, when the water is flowing through this supply tank we have to maintain the level from the top in this one year scale up to 8.1 centimeters we have to fix the value 8.1 centimeters here so the fingertip of this one year scale must touch the water sheet that is the constant headline for this tank so once the water gets uh, reaching or increasing by that constant head level we have to reach the h2 value we have to note okay so next the water is falling in this storage tank or uh, collecting tank so once the water reaches in this storage tank you have to stop this delivery valve and uh, this one is the piezometer for every 10 centimeters rise you have to note the time taken in seconds afterwards the water should be flushed out so that is the experiment for various sets like uh, half closed condition, full closed condition, you have to note the H2 value 
for various heads. H2 value is simply taken by touching this tip. By touching this uh, tip of one scale to the sheet of water. Okay, so simply we have to find the H1, H2 and the time taken. For this CD is to be calculated. CD is the coefficient of discharge which is given by the formula Q actual by Q theoretical. That gives you the CD value. The CD value must range between 0 0.6 to 0 0.9. So finally here we are uh, finding the CD value which multiplied by actual discharge gives you the design discharge for the real structure. This is the model, model or replica you can call. Okay, replica is the structure. Uh, by converting the real structure dimensions into small dimensions using Froude's number or Reynolds number. So that is it for today. So this is my batch. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.